Hey everybody! Since I've done my denim tutorial quite a while ago, maybe one of the most common questions I get is how to create the stitching for denim. Um, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to do stitching and it's going to come out a lot like the stitching I've done around these letters here. Um, it's very easy to do and so I think most people will have a lot of luck with this. The first thing you're going to want to do though is before we get started is put me on pause and go and get yourself a couple different um, stitch type brushes or it's very easy to make them yourselves. Um, so just go ahead and, and get that done. Then what I like to do is I start by bucket filling um, a background color and it can be anything you want. I am going to use a particular cloth like you know, texture for this one. If this was the jeans that you're trying to make, then you know, go ahead and pretend that you're using jeans. And I'm going to show you two different techniques. The first one, I'm going to show you how to use it with te text. So if you're doing like letter jackets or something, then um, this works out great for it. So I'm just going to change the color here. We'll just do it in blue so you can see it easily. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my brush set up. This is important to do it now. So you can see I have a couple different kinds of um, stitch brushes in here. And I'm going to use this V because it's easiest to see for this particular tutorial and then I'll switch here in a few minutes. And you're going to want, depending on the size of your texture, a nice uh, appropriate sized brush. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm using 9 pixels and this is a 512 by 512 um, canvas that I'm working on and I'm just going to move this here closer to the center so you guys can see it. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to select and load selection and then you're going to go to your paths tab and if it's not down here with your layers and other channels then it's going to be right up here under windows and you can click that and then select paths. And we're going to click this little um, button down here at the bottom and create a working path. So you can see we have a working path now and then we're going to add a layer to this and right click on your working path and hit stroke path and we're going to use our brush tool that we just set up and hit OK and you can see now that it has appropriately put a path in for us and used the brush that we had around that path. So you guys can use anything. It doesn't have to necessarily be a stitching type brush. It could be lace or whatever you feel like um, for that. And then to make this look a little bit more realistic, I go to Layer Styles and go to Bevel and Emboss. And this, of course, depends on the size of your texture, but I do a really deep bevel and a really small size. So it just starts to look like it's beveling. Maybe not quite that deep. So that's about what I like to make it look like the, the stitching is raised up. And then down here on... Um, the text layer, I'm going to go select, or I'm sorry, load, gosh, layer styles, inner glow, and I'm going to change it to black and change my blending mode to multiply, just like that. And then I'm going to put an outer glow on this guy, select, and then um, black, multiply again. And I'm going to create a little bit bigger size because I want it to look like it's indenting a little bit onto the background behind it just like that and you're pretty much done there you can use some dodge and burn effects to uh, create a little bit different look if you want to but that's pretty much it as far as text goes very simple to do you can also use your pen tool and I'm gonna use my freeform pen tool because when I record it lags so bad and you can create paths this way so uh, same thing go to add a layer here, path, create a working path, and we already have one going on, and I'm going to change my um, brush stroke, we'll change it to this X, and then right click and hit stroke path, and hit OK, and you've got your um, stitching through that. So that's what I would use for jeans, I would just use my um, brush tool or I'm sorry, my pen tool, either the freeform pen tool or the standard pen tool and just create whatever path you want to and I'll try to do this without lagging so bad that we can't do anything here. Yeah, I lag so bad when I do this, but that's okay. And then um, just stroke tap path 
and you can see it's very good about adding to the path that we just did. So it's a little bit of a mess, but you guys obviously get the idea. Um, and again, very simple, very easy technique. You just use the mesh lines if you're creating this for a virtual world. Um, use the mesh lines that you have down the legs and whatnot to create those stitches. Find the right size stitch and the right shape, and you're good to go. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful. As always, leave questions and comments for me. Um, don't forget to practice with your layer styles on this because it makes all the difference from a very flat, just X's across it, to stitching. Um, and if you have questions, feel free to leave comments or email me. I do check them frequently. And don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for using this tutorial.